Hello. Hello. Here we are with Suzanne Sterling um, in conversation uh, about the power of self-expression, the power of finding your true voice as medicine. Your work is very much about that your work, the passion, you know, and in, in your pretty much everything that you're doing from music to yoga to sacred ceremony mm -hmm. is about that transformation that happens within us. So I'd like to just, you know, chat a little bit about, you know, you've, you've been witness to your own journey, yes. but also to the journey of so many people. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the things that I think is um, missing from our modern culture is times and places and ways for us to be creative and most importantly to be creatively self-expressive and the reason that that's important is because um, you know life is intense <laughs> and we're constantly being impacted by um, intense experiences and we've been taught to, uh, to be civilized in our response to that which is to say to just kind of like take it and hold on to it and be stoic and keep going on and handling and actually what's happening is that is making us sick um, especially those of us who've experienced incredible amounts of trauma, especially as children, we hold on to those traumas in our body and our cells and we start to organize around them and we start to control our lives around them and then um, even when we're doing that, the impulse for self-regulation becomes kind of intense and then we reach outside ourselves to feel better. And so um, what I'm, you know, my life's work is about helping people understand that if we were, if we allowed ourselves to respond to what impacts us, respond either to the, you know, the intense difficulties, the challenges, but also respond to the joys, because they're two sides of the same coin. What happens is the whole system, um, the blocks, the, the ways that we've been organizing around that, holding on to it because we're scared of experiencing it, it, those blocks to our life force get removed and then the life force begins to move through us, the whole system comes into a state of health and it's quite medicinal for us. And, and especially, you know, movement is a huge piece. Sound is a big thing because sound is physical. And when we make the sound, not just listen to the sound, but when we actually create it from the inside out, it's deeply healing for us. And again, indigenous cultures had times and places where people would come together and allow whatever needed to be removed, allow whatever needed to move through them to do that, right? And then in our culture, we don't have any places for that. Like if, you know, most people today only sing in the shower or the car. <laughs> yeah, and, and sound, you know, sound is a vibration, and we are really a different state of vibration. So and when we're we, made to vibrate. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, so when, we're, when we begin to explore that within us, and all these, you know, releases happen, mm -hmm. and then things that could have happened 30 years ago, or 20 years ago, 10 years ago, they all are stored inside each one of ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And we may remember them consciously, we may not, but the release starts to happen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, it's really about opening up our hearts and, 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 and what happens when we begin to live from a place of, you know, having more of an open heart in this world and what happens when we begin to take responsibility. Yeah, right? I think responsibility because is a huge, but that word is response yeah. ability, right? Yes. I have the ability to respond. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so, um, you know, another piece that I think is also missing from our culture is community. Like yeah. really, how do we build community? And we build community by being <clears throat> um, in that self-expression together, right? That's, we go through um, intense experiences, but if we go through them alone and isolated, um, it's, it's a very different experience than if we go through them collectively. Whether, again, whether that's sorrow or grief or anger or shame or joy, it's, it's all necessary. And when we do it in community, something, something greater than the sum of its parts gets created. And so, again, human beings are hardwired for this, yes. and we've just kind of forgotten. And so, you know, my passion, my work is reminding us, hey, this is what we're supposed to do. It's not weird, it's not dangerous, it's normal. Yeah. And, and when we do it, people often have a, res a, like a grief response. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just because they've, people realize, oh, this is like, I'm supposed to live with an open heart. I'm supposed yeah. to be vibrating and responding. I'm yeah. supposed to be connecting with other people. Yes. And the isolation is a really foreign thing to humans. And we've created this culture in where, we, where we're mostly isolated. And so, um, so, you know, how do we bring ritual back into our culture in a way that's meaningful and purposeful? How do we bring self-expression back into our culture in a way that um, everyone can embrace it as opposed to saying only the artists get to be creative, not me, right. you know? Yeah. 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 So, you know, I often say we're dying to express ourselves. 
Absolutely. Literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and I think there's a time now where we're we're feeling this humming that is within us and in you know in the world I would say. Yeah. And it's just at that point of just just about, you know, we have we've had self expression through ages and through our times, but there's more of a collective force mm -hmm. that is I think coming. And I think that's a response to the <clears throat> incredible dysfunction that we live in, right? Mm -hmm. The dysfunction that's all around us. How so many of our systems don't work and so many of our systems are breaking down and people who are um, consciously, um, you know, not isolating, not shutting down, not withdrawing, people who are consciously stepping into it are like, wow, it's now or never. Let's yes. go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah.